Hi everyone, this is Vegas and today I'm going to be showcasing Penny Play Ideas. This is going to be a new series. I'll be releasing videos on Penny Plays every single Sunday. So today's the first day that I'm launching this and it's really to focus on some really good quality penny stock ideas that can help you with your trading. So let's get started. Okay, so the first pick for our penny play for this week, for this episode, is going to be SPCB. You may have traded this already, and if you haven't, you're definitely going to want this on your watch list. So SPCB is for Supercom, and this company, by the way, is my favorite penny stock right now. And, uh, you know... Uh, many people love the stock, and I have to say, I love the stock. Um, this has the potential to definitely go up significantly from where it has closed on Friday. This is also related to coronavirus. They have won many government contracts, which I'll go through momentarily. They've also been mentioned in the news. It's got a much smaller float than a lot of other stocks out there. I'll go through the float information. The earnings per share quarter over quarter is 185%, which is amazing. It's financially a very sane company. And in my opinion, there is no risk of any offerings on this particular stock. The other thing too, is that this company is the only licensed player in Asia to do TCM research and turning around selling approval TCM in the markets. This is definitely going to be having another major contract announcement, I think, in the very near future. So if you want to look at the divisions, you can see here they're very involved in um, EID, they're Internet of Things, they're involved in payments. I mean, they do banking transactions securely. They do government transactions. They're almost like a miniature PayPal stripe. They're into cybersecurity. They do land information system, safe end, and Alvarian. Now, I do want to show you guys also the corporate management because that's good to know. So we have Ari Trebelsi, who is the president and CEO. By the way, this company is an Israeli company located in Tel Aviv. And we also have a location in New York. So we do have the Israeli division and we have the location in the United States. Now, Ari Trabelsi, as you can see, he's been very involved more than 28 years in the global wireless internet and communication industry. He was also very involved in the Sigma Wave Group and obviously has a Bachelor of Science degree in electrical and computer engineering from Ben Gurion University. By the way, major, major, uh, a lot of amazing, amazing people have come from that university in Israel. So it's just fantastic. So let's go through here. Um, some press releases because I want to show you what Ari's been doing and this is really important when you're thinking about trading a penny stock and also holding this as a swing trade so let's go through the press releases first so let's just go here so first of all you can see here that the company did do a recent presentation on April 22nd at the Planet Microcop uh, showcase and that was a virtual investor conference because as you guys know with coronavirus you know no one can really go the other thing too they noticed you notice here they had a one million dollar e-government order from the national government customer this is for the critical identification of cybersecurity, and also essential through the coronavirus pandemic so let's just read a little bit more on this one um, so as you can see, there is potential. This is what's important for you guys to read when you read these press releases. I love to read the clues. So you could see here they got a new order, approximately $1 million from a national government customer. Then you can see here, continue along, there is potential in the near future for another order to a total of $2 million dollars. Per the contract, Supercom will provide core elements, flexible e-government solutions, and allow for potential expansion of additional e-government modules to be added to the solution. This is so important. By the way, look, current order of approximately one million in value to be recognized over the next three months. So that's a fantastic piece of news. 
let's go back here. Here's the location I want to mention here in Tel Aviv and uh, also here on Park Avenue on the ninth floor in New York. So let's just now go to the next press release that I want to show you because this one's a good one. Okay, so you can see here these other ones I want to show you. I mean, I'm not going to go open them and read them for you because you can certainly do that yourself if you go to the company's website and go to the press release section. But they did have another one here where they had deployed additional um, tracking devices, another project in Canada. They also did another pilot for shipping to Central America. So this is technology where they can actually put an ankle bracelet on someone or a bracelet and track coronavirus patients, making sure they're not leaving their home. Uh, the other thing too, they did another pilot here in March, but here's the one I really like a lot. Here we go. So you can see here that this was a press release back in March and the CEO announced okay that he has notified the company that he's increased his purchase program to purchase up to six million shares of the company but here's the key word on the open market i love the confidence that mr ari trebelsi has in the company for him to buy the stocks in the open market shows extreme confidence and when you have a ceo that's willing to do that that is an excellent excellent sign and if he's going to put skin in the game, then I love it even more. The other thing, too, is as you can see what he's mentioned, and I'm not, you know, I'm just going to highlight what he says. The SPCB current stock levels do not reflect the intrinsic value of the company. And this provides him the ability to opportunistically acquire shares and underscores my ongoing belief in the company. So for him to put that kind of skin in the game, six million shares, trust me. That's a lot of money and he's willing to do it on the open market. So I love all of these things about the company. Let's just go back to the website. You see all the divisions here. You see the healthcare. You can read all about the divisions that, that they have. And this company, just to mention as well, um, they've been around for 28 years and they have um, 30,000 customers. And also, they are in 100 countries. They're involved in cybersecurity, facial recognition. I told you about the payments. And also, um, they have all these government contracts. And you saw that the CEO and founder, I mean, he wants to purchase 6 million shares at the market. I mean, that's amazing. So last but not least, I want to show you guys the float of the stock. Okay, so here we are with the um, showing you this on FinViz with a website finviz.com. I just put in the ticker up here as PCB. And then as you can see here, what a beautiful chart. I mean, this is what you want to see. You don't want to see this where it went downhill here back in August. And then it kind of had a bit of a recovery, then downhill again, then a little recovery and then downhill. We don't like that. I don't like charts like that. What you want to see is a continuous uptrend. And that is what you're seeing. Look at this uptrend, 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 uptrend. This has been going on since March. You can also see that uh, the shares outstanding 15.45 and then the shares in the float 11.7. Very good quality penny stock. So definitely keep this stock on your watch list. I'm looking this for a swing trade continuation. And this also had an inside day. And if you notice, the Bollinger Bands are starting to get wider on the stock and it's definitely overbought. So can you see the stock expanding? Absolutely. I mean, look at the price of the stock. It closed here at $1.16. I believe, in my opinion, that this could probably go up significantly a lot more than this. I won't be surprised to see this over $2 in the coming sessions. So again, keep in mind, this is not something that's just going to go to $2 first thing tomorrow. This is a stock that has the potential to keep going on an uptrend and has the potential to be worth a lot more than what we're seeing today. So Definitely keep it on your watch list. Keep the first swing trade. You might even want to day trade it. Everyone has a different trading style. So that is the first stock we're going to review, which is SPCB. So we're done with that one. And we're going to go on to the next one. 
Okay, so the next one here and the last one for tonight is going to be CTRM. This one is a penny play as well. And as you know, the ticker CTRM stands for Caster Maritime. This is in the shipping sector. This is a shipper penny stock. Definitely with the momentum happening with oil, this has the potential for sure to continuously probably cross back over 99 cents. You can see right now um, it's closing at 66. Now, uh, one thing to mention with this particular stock that I want you guys to know is that this company has good cash flow, very solid. The uh, very steady earnings per share quarter over quarter and 155% sales quarter over quarter. The financing on uh, with the company has actually also been secure and the chart is oversold. So this is a very hot sector. And the other thing too is that they have agreements with commercial fleets and are very well prepared for a very solid 2020. So you can take a look here, just a quick overview of the company is that, you know, and they haven't even been in business that long in comparison to other shippers out there. But you could see that they're a dry bulk shipping company founded in 2017. They're located in Lamassal, Cyprus, and their goal is to grow their fleet through acquisitions of new and modern vessels. Well, in order to do that, you obviously need to have cash flow. So this company has good cash flow. So if you take a look at the fleet, you can see that they have three carriers, the Magic P, the Magic Sun, and the Magic Moon. And let me just see what else they have here on their press releases. So you could see here that they did have a notice from the NASDAQ. I'll just pull it up here. And, uh, you know, they did mention that, you know, the company uh, price of the stock was not meeting their compliance. And they were informed that due to the coronavirus crisis that they have been given, just so you know, temporary relief has been granted to minimum bid listing requirements. And the compliance period will be suspended until June 30th. And then they have the ability to regain the compliance um, by December 28th, 2020, which includes the temporary coronavirus relief. So this is good to know because I believe the company is going to have their stock definitely regain compliance with all the activity and action that's happening um, on the shipping sector of coming very soon. So I do want to did want to share that with you guys as well. Um, just to show you guys that this information is important as well. And you can see here that they had their financial report, which was for period ending December 31st. This was released back in March. And here's what I wanted to show you guys. I mean, here is the earnings highlight. Net revenue, 2.8 comparing to 1.1. They also had their EBITDA, 1.1 versus 0.4. And, you know, they're in good shape. I mean, they have concluded the four and a half million secured note, uh, notes. They also have a private placement for five million. And uh, they had a very good year. You can actually read all about it. They did have the closing of the notes of the secured loan uh, facility. And um, they did mention that they've had a profitable fourth quarter. Okay. And you can see that. Despite current market rate and volatility, they've had a very good uh, quarter. And you can see here that very confident about remaining profitable and cash flow positive. Very important when you're looking to trade these penny stocks because some people get very scared for putting money in penny stocks because they're always afraid of offerings. So this is another good uh, shipping stock and so this is my pick as well for this week so let's see how this goes for the rest of the week on CTRM uh, you can see also the float is not that big um, 2.07 shares outstanding 6.82 
and looking for this one to reverse. And this is definitely oversold. And the shipping sector, as I mentioned, is getting hot again. So please keep CTRM on your watch list. And SPCB. Remember next week, what I'm going to be doing with you guys. So next week, we're going to do the penny plate recap. So that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to follow up and I'm going to recap CTRM and SPCB. And then I'll be giving you guys two new ones next week. So if you like today's episode, please like, subscribe, and follow. And uh, let's see how these two stocks do this week. And uh, good luck, everyone. Keep them on your watch list. If you're not trading them, that's not a problem. Nothing that I mentioned has to be traded. It's just sharing my thoughts, my ideas. I am not a licensed advisor. Definitely do your own due diligence. I'm just sharing what I see and letting you know that I'm going to be looking to trade these two stocks this week for swing trades. Have a great week, everyone. And see you all again next week's episode on Penny Play Ideas. And we'll do a Penny Play Recap. Take care and have a great night.